Uh, today I'm going to teach you how to solve a issue with Halo Infinite PC. Uh, if you've given it a go, if you've played the beta uh, that's out now, the full game is released in a few days time, uh, you will have perhaps noticed that um, like most FPS games, uh, the mouse will scroll uh, is designated by default to swap weapons, um, which many of us have come to expect when playing these sorts of games. Uh, now, the issue that Halo Infinite has is that the mouse scroll uh, doesn't have uh, a built-in delay, um, which means it's capable of over-scrolling. Uh, what that means in practice is when you play the game, you might find that you're changing weapons, and then it's immediately changing back to the weapon you're trying to change from, uh, seeing as most of us change weapons when we're either running low on ammo or out of ammo, so that we've got that, that backup secondary. Uh, it's completely of no use to us because you're only going to end up with a gun with with uh, no ammo uh, and you're probably going to die quite quickly as a result. Um, so the game at the moment uh, doesn't have any way uh, internally of fixing that problem and nor does Windows in itself. Um, so uh, one very easy and free way of fixing it uh, is through the use of an application called Xmouse. Now Xmouse is basically a remapper. Um, and as long as you only use it to remap, you shouldn't have any issues on any game uh, in respect of anti-cheat software. I've been using it for years um, for games uh, and never had any issues. As have many, if you need to do Google search, you should be fine. Uh, it can program macros as well so that one key press on your mouse does more than one action. Now you're going into the gray area there where anti-cheat might detect something. So I would suggest you stay away from... Um, using the macro format but anyway in terms of fixing this for halo you'll have no issues um, so what you need to do uh, is as follows so firstly uh, you can get xmouse on the website it's by a company called high res so highres.co.uk slash download slash xmouse button control dot htm will take you to the page that you see up on the screen now uh, it is a completely free download you can download the application and once you've got it installed it will look something like this um, so on the front page, you basically got your, your basic uh, inputs um, and you can uh, tell it what to do with those inputs uh, for all of your mouse buttons. So you've got your left mouse button, your right mouse button, your middle click, um, your mouse buttons four and five if you've got them, side keys, uh, you've got your wheel up, your wheel down, and if you've got the fancy one, you've got your tilt wheels you can change them to do anything so sometimes in games if you want your side keys to do certain actions and for whatever reason the game isn't letting you map it itself uh, it's assigned to a key i don't know if you want to to throw a grenade and it's on g but you also want it on one of those side mouse buttons you could change your mouse button five for example to to simulate a key press and simulate a key press of the of, of the letter g you'll see that i've done something similar to that uh, for my split gate profile because split gate was one of those games i was having trouble uh, setting up um, so anyway, um, on the left hand side of this page, you can create profiles for specific games so that any changes you make it only applies to that one game rather than your global settings, uh, which is often a good idea because if you're making changes, generally speaking, you're probably not going to want those changes to affect other games or windows at large. Um, so you'll see here on my screen, I've got two set up at the moment for Halo Infinite and for Splitgate, different reasons. Um, so my Halo Infinite uh, uh, profile is here. Um, so what you should do, uh, once you've created it, you go add um, and it will bring up a screen where you can select an open application at the moment. So you can pick from that list or you can just search uh, for the files you want, uh, the exe file you want for the game itself. Um, and then that will create the profile that's for that specific game. Um, so in order to change the setting that you need to to fix the over scrolling issue, you want to make sure you're on the profile you want to change, Halo Infinite here. You go to Options, and then you've got these two tick boxes. Ignore repeated vertical scroll and ignore remapped, uh, repeated remapped horizontal scroll. Now it's only the vertical scroll that really matters for completeness sake, and just because I was getting fed up with the problem in Halo, I just ticked both boxes because I didn't want to have to keep coming backwards and forwards to fix it. Um, 
by default, uh, the milliseconds, I think, is set to 200. It's quite short, and I found out that whilst the problem was significantly improved straight away from just ticking this box and pressing apply, uh, it wasn't uh, solved to my entire satisfaction. So I've upped it to 1000 milliseconds um, and pressed apply. And what that now means is when I'm in a game and I'm using the scroll wheel, uh, it will only, even if I accidentally clicked sort of two or three scrolls on the wheel, it will only detect it as one input. So it will swap the weapon once uh, and then my gun will change and I can carry on playing. So uh, there you go. That's all you need to do. Um, now there are other settings so that you can make sure uh, that it uh, launches uh, as a, a startup application, etc., which is probably suggested. Uh, and you can have a look at the other settings you want. There's not much you can do to break anything. Um, so just have a play through those. Uh, but in order to fix that over scroll problem, it is options and ignore repeated remap vertical scroll that you want to try uh, and then have a play with the uh, milliseconds until it suits uh, your play style. Um, and that's it in the long and short of it. I don't know why these have changed. Um, so yeah, there you go, change that and then you'll be able to swap your weapons freely without any problems. Thanks. Uh, if this has helped you at all, uh, like, uh, and, or like and consider subscribing. Uh, or also uh, check me out on Twitch. That's LennyUK66 uh, on Twitch. Uh, links to the XMouse website uh, and uh, my Twitch profile uh, will be in the description. Thank you very much.